Okay, so what is this game about? What is this game about? So this game can be used to improve sentence building. It's a really, really fun game. And um, this is how it works. So the teacher writes, again, a category or a topic on the board. So you need to have, again, like we did with our fruits right now in the example, you need to have a category. And you write that on the board or you just say what the category is. And then you need something like an item to act as a hot potato. For example, I'm gonna use this little bear today. If you have like, sometimes some classes, they have a classroom mascot, you could use that or just bring anything in like a ball or like a little toy like this that could act as like a hot potato. So you bring that in. So you write down a category, then you have this hot potato that you pass around the classroom, right? So it goes from student to student to student to student. And then when the teacher, when you say positive, the student, holding the hot potato in their hand needs to make a positive sentence that fits into the topic on the board, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you an example in a minute. Then the student would say the sentence. If it's correct, great, then we move on. We pass the hot potato, we pass the hot potato around. around. Then the teacher says negative, then you guessed it, the student needs to make a negative sentence that fits into the category or the topic. All right, now the third one, crazy, same thing. You continue passing around the hot potato. Then when the teacher says crazy, the student holding the hot potato, they, they can create a sentence however they like. And usually what I like to do with these kinds of games, you know, you really encourage the students to make a really crazy sentence, right? Because then it's funny, everybody's laughing, they have a good time. Um, obviously, don't use any like bad words, curse words. No, not nothing like that. But you can make any like funny, like crazy kinds of statements. Um, that's usually really fun for the students. Okay, now uh, let me show you how it works. Let me show you an example. So for for example, the topic is in your free time. Okay, really good topic. Um, and then we just play the game. So and somebody. You can yell out into the comments, positive, negative, or crazy. Somebody, the first person who yells it out is your choice. <laughs> okay, let's see. Give me one. Positive, negative, or crazy. Put that into the comments. Okay, great. Candace, negative. Okay, so I'm holding the hot potato. Teacher says negative. So I make a sentence that fits with the topic in your free time. So for example, in my free time, I don't like to do homework or housework. It's a negative sentence. I don't like to do, I don't like, okay, for example. So that's a good sentence for that, that fits the topic. Okay, great, moving on. Now let's do another one. Positive or crazy, please. <laughs> I hope this doesn't make too much noise in front of the mic. Good, yes, Margaret. In my free time, I don't like to play football. Good. All right, Elisita. Elisita says, crazy, okay? I have the, uh, the hot potato and the teacher says, crazy. So now I could make a really crazy sentence. For example, in my free time, I like to bake a two meter giant chocolate cake with my mom that's crazy right something like that and then usually the students are like giggling laughing it's funny um yeah and then juliana positive for example in my free time i love to go to the park with my dog something like that okay and then you would continue this on until every student it got chosen or got got to make a sentence at least once typically so yeah that's the game super fun again and this really encourages the students to make sentences and what's really important with this game try to really have them make full sentences as we all know as teachers sometimes our students they just um say a word or two but really tell them like, no, make a whole sentence. In my free time, I 
And then they have to say the whole sentence. So for example, in my free time, I watch Korean dramas. Yes, perfect. Or in my free time, I love to go to the beach. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. So that's how that game works. I think it's really fun. Um, yeah. And it's also fun because the students, they have an actual thing in their hands. They always really like that when they can touch something. Um, and that also really encourages learning and gets their brain and bodies like moving together. It's really helpful. Juliana says, in my free time, I like to ride my bicycle. Yes. Good. For example. Yeah. Nice. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.